Welcome everyone to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're back with the adventure campaign. This is a this is an interesting one. We've got a ton of healers and one single squire. So I decided let's just do an entire army of bards. Not really sure what's gonna happen because I think once this squire's gone, no other units do any damage. So yeah. If you guys want to see some more tabs, drop a like. Um, liking lets me know that you guys want to see more of this. Whoa. This might be the most powerful unit ever. Ooh, can we convince him to walk off the map, though? That is our goal. Oh, we so might nearly have it. Oh, my. No, 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 no. A little bit further. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, we did it. Wait, so now what happens? Do they just keep rolling? Wait, who are they healing now? Um, they're just healing each other. So does that mean nothing happens now? Okay. <laughs> so why don't we spawn a, a Jarlin? And then still have like a whole bunch of bards just along there. Maybe that'll work. I don't even know. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the Jarl walks pretty slow, which is what I want. I want him to be as far away as possible. So I want the squire to just walk off the edge. I mean, it might be that this guy is super easy to kill. It's just not that super clear. I, I, I don't know if these guys make him invincible or heal him or whatever. Uh-oh, Jarl's getting close. That's not good. Jarl, why don't you kill... Okay, no. Nope. All right, looks like the Jarl's taking him on. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, he hit him so hard that he flew away. All right, Jarl, let's get killing. Uh, so literally all my Jarl has to do right now is just kill every single one of these dumb priests. Enjoy! <laughs> Wait, he died? Seriously? Did he die of exhaustion or something? Okay. All right, well, this clearly isn't working. What if we just literally have a ton of archers? We can even put them at the beginning so they can get some kills straight away. Look at that. There we go. Wait, we killed him already? What? I thought you were supposed to be the chosen one. Now my archers just got to be shooting for a bit. All right. After you go, archers, hopefully you... Won't die of exhaustion like the last guy. There we go. Oh, we spent a lot of time on that level. Ooh, okay, so we're in the icy world. The king with his barbarians. Interesting. Okay, well, obviously, after all, you've got to have those halflings. And then why not just pull out the archers again? I'll even throw in a couple of sneak archers to make things interesting. All right, here we go. So halflings keep everyone busy. They they can survive for so long just because they're so small. And then the archers. Oh wait, yeah, they've got a king. A king. We did kill the king with archers in the last episode. I feel like the archers aren't nearly as accurate as they used to be. Oh wait, the king's dead. Wait. Oh, we so got this. Come on, get get this one. Come on, guys. There we go. Good job. Ooh, another jewel. Actually, this is squire versus squire this time. Doing shields or is that not going to be? Is that dumb? Oh. Did he even do damage? Defeat? You know what? Let's just make this interesting. Squire versus Squire. Okay. Do I just have to keep doing this until he wins? There we go. Apparently, I do. Whoa. Okay. You know what this this looks like? A halfling. A martyr. Okay, it's actually way more effective than I thought it would be. As in, the catapults against our halflings. Come on, halflings. Pull it together. Only a few of you need to get break through the line. Most of you have died already. See, they're so small. I don't think they can even get... No, I take that back. Oh, is, is this the last one? Well... <laughs> Wait, what? Is that one still alive somewhere? I can hear him running. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you're pretty stuck, aren't you? You're not going to be winning me anything. All right, wheelbarrows versus only like one needs to get through and they did can they finish the job oh wait and the great thing about the wheelbarrows is even when they get hit except if they fall off the cliff they can still keep going because they kind of just keep hitting things whoa what is this guy doing okay there's only one dangerous one left come on come on throw those apples throw those apples like you never thrown apples before poke it oh my oh, wait we did it all we have to do is kill this dude who's straight up hanging off of the cliff and, hey, nice. Hello. Hello. Oh, here they come. Uh-oh. Yeah, this isn't. Why are they getting so close? Ballista, stop. 
Oh, Loki doing better than I thought. Yeah, no. Uh, we did really well, but I think we only need one ballista. Wait, no way. No way. Oh, we missed. Oh! No way. Okay, two left. Oh, one left. Yes! Wait, what? Absolutely not an ambush. They are literally surrounding us. Okay, oh, I'm pretty sure we can kill the first couple with a, some expertly placed bards. But the ones behind us seem problematic. You know, I'd even put money on the fact that we could win this with bards. Let's try it. Oh my. Oh no. Okay. Will the bards be able to do it? Oh god, they're all flying off the edge. All we need is like for one bard to get stuck. It's not a bad idea. Trust me. Okay, guys? It's a pretty bad idea. Okay. Ah, uh, they're all flying off the edge. Although, not gonna lie, I feel like we killed a very large amount of them. Is that the only bard we have? Okay. Okay. Knight killed them. Now we've got a whole line of archers. Archers, your only mission is to hold them off as long as you can until my knight single-handedly destroys every squire. And he's fallen off the map. Might not be bad, though. If he can stay here, he should be able to 1v1 like every squire. As long as he doesn't walk off the map. Like that. Archers, how are you doing? On it? Wow, actually, he might have delayed them enough. Okay, and that, that whole plan just went straight out the window. Well, it was a fun thought. All right, new tactic. I've uh, made a huge amount of halflings, a group of bards in the middle, and then hidden a bunch of halflings around the map. I'm getting desperate. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little bit desperate. Don't have any idea what's going to go happen from here. Bards was not aping for them to just charge into them, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, you never know. Let's have a look. Any of them get stuck anywhere? Okay, uh, I'm not really seeing like any have got stuck anywhere. Damn, I can't believe I'm getting so stuck on this one. How powerful is a king when he's got mega heals on? Like, I actually... Oh, okay. I don't really know how effective these priest dudes are anyway, but I know that the king is pretty damn awesome, and I think he's still even getting healed now. This might be it. No way was having one ultra mega powerful unit going to be the answer to this. I don't think the squires are that powerful. And they seem to suck at hitting one unit at a time. Come on, King. Big swing. Big swing. Big swing for the boys. Oh, okay. He definitely took a lot of damage, but I guess those priests helped him out. Oh, there's that gone. And now we just need to kill one guy camping off the map. If the king slips and falls here, I, I'm going to be so disappointed. Come on. Yes! We did it, finally! Whoa! Who let the mammoths into the castle? Okay. So they get one-hitted? Okay, not insta-killed. But they don't look in great condition. They're taking some time. Yeah, well, that's one down. And he's so stuck. Yes! There we go. Fully stuck now. Archers are pinging them from a distance. The left ballista seems functional. Yeah! Remind these mammoths to not go down small corridors again. Whoa, okay. No, that's not fair. That's, you know what? Fight fire with fire. Archers, line the rooftops. Interesting. Most of them are dead already. Okay, so did a lot. I mean, a lot of our archers died from full damage. I didn't know that was going to happen. If I knew that half of them were just going to break, we might have changed how we were doing this slightly. One left? Oh, should we, am I, should we win this? Okay. Yeah! Okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. I hate these wheelbarrow things. We usually don't have to fight them. A line of bards at the back. A line of potion sellers to confuse them. And then some halflings to just get attached to things randomly. I mean, that was a waste of money with those potion sellers. I don't think that they're going to really be effective. But we'll see. No, honestly, we've actually killed more than I thought with those potion sellers. The confused dudes are just walking out of the middle of nowhere. If we change our bards for archers, I think this would be over already. While I still hear potions being thrown, I feel like there is a chance. Actually, I feel like, yeah, some of them are even straight up falling off the map. Yes! What is happening here? Okay, now, you can tell I've become a fan of these bards. The idea of a bunch of guys walking off the cliff is just very interesting to me. Okay, knights aren't seem, don't seem to be that dumb. Give them time, though. Give them time. We do have a lot of bards. We had a big budget for this. Look at them just chasing them around everywhere. 
I've lost quite a few bards already, but we probably have quite a few more. Oh, I thought that one was going to go. Have we even killed a single knight yet? That one nearly fell. Okay, we have so many bards that they're kind of getting stuck, which is the goal. Like these two here, they aren't dying. Oh, 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 so, so close. The knights seem to be able to like leap forwards, which is not good. The problem with these two is if a knight gets close, they might walk off the map. Oh, here we go. Come on, bard. Two in one. You can't, you can't do it. You can't. Yes, you can. Yes, two in one. Oh, he's going for the lower ones. Oh, no way. That little boost thing is actually helping us. Oh, wait, no, our stuck ones got dislodged. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in this one. If we've got any more... Okay, this guy's stuck here, which is not a bad position. We've got a couple over here. Are you... Yeah, I don't know. This one might not work for us simply because of the amount of them that are stuck. Okay, I think this guy is infinitely stuck here, so I'm going to chalk this one up as a loss. The old halfling bamboozle with ice this time. Thought it'd be good to get some slightly more aggressive characters in, as well as the bard army. Halflings are just amazing. Okay, uh, okay, ice arrows are slowing them down considerably, but it's not really doing much. Oh, some of the ice is actually freezing them fully. I get it now, but they're still too fully capable knights walking around. They are going to be dangerous. One thing we haven't considered is confusing them so much that they just walk off. No bards required. We've actually already killed quite a few of them, but we only have a couple left. So, might not work. But, honestly, incredibly effective, all things considering. We've got, like, a few left. This guy's about to walk off the edge. No way. Can just a couple of potion boys defeat a bunch of burly knights where are they even going oh they actually killed one one left he just looks tired no way have we won this if these potion guys can kill this one knight laying down we've actually just won oh he's up he's up confuse him confuse him yes whoa okay we all know that there's a bunch of halflings Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hay balers this time. All right. Well, they don't really do a ton of damage, so. I don't know if harvesters are the best thing against them. Have we even lost a single harvester yet? Oh, I think we're getting some own damage a little bit, but. Oh, no. Close, though. Bards, it is. These guys are already are pretty slow and do, like, no damage, so. This might actually low key work. Okay, most of the bards problem is they're walking towards bits that don't walk off the map let's adjust their placement so that we've got most of them here and then some of them here and then the rest there that should work a little bit better with the placement hopefully they don't end up walking into a wall again okay much better results most of them walking to the side that's what we like to see okay hopefully we don't lose this entire group of bards off the edge that would be a bit embarrassing. Oh, no. No, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, okay. And... Eh, we killed, like, two. Ideally, was looking to kill a few more than that. Wait, what's this one doing in a tree asleep? Uh, okay. Why can't that happen to an archer or something useful? Okay, another two off the... Oh, you lucky, lucky. Come on. You can't hold up that whole time. Actually, he did. Oh, no way. There is so many of these hay bayonets. I can't remember how we effectively killed these again. Equally, we just could throw a couple of the strong lads into the mix and just cut them up. Seems like it would make the most sense. Uh, I think my kings are going to do a bit of damage to each other. But with my priests, hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll see. Okay, they're both still alive. I think this is it. Yeah. I think we've got this. I don't know why I have an archer over there. Didn't do anything. Nice victory. To finish up, we are going to do a final duel. Can we do it? Get ourselves a bone mage out. Probably want to get closer. All right, before I click start, as always, guys, if you want to see some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, drop a like. It lets me know that you guys want to see this uh, alongside all the other videos I put up. So I really appreciate the feedback. Have an awesome day and let's start the battle. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, hello? Wait, are they not able to kill each other on this thing? Whoever gets the first, first hit. Oh. Oh. Hey, we won. Bye.